So tell me a little bit about the red-tailed painting. Uh, we were talking about it beforehand a little bit, and it seemed like you didn't quite have as much memory about the location of it anyway. No, I, I can't remember. It's, it's Ontario, and it's a fallen willow. Mm -hmm. um, and it had a lot of character and a lot of personality. Mm -hmm. And um, I assume I took a bunch of photographs of it. And uh, in a sense, although people would assume the red tail is the subject matter, in a sense, it's an afterthought. I, I, I threw it in a little bit to give scale because it's an immense stub falling mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. um, but I threw the the rail ta red tail in uh, just as a eye catcher, and it's in some people's mind that's the main subject of the painting. But to me, it's that big fallen willow and all the abstract quality like you might get in a Henry Moore. Yeah, it's a very abstract composition. I think so. And it's yeah. kind of a really, it's a very gestural composition that, yeah. that comes up. Yeah, swing yeah. up that way. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like the, 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 the willow leads you up to the red tail, which is kind of the surprise. I don't know if you remember this or not, but the red-tailed hawk frame Apparently, you're going to want to look around now and look at I it. I am. You, bu you built it. <laughs> can I, can yeah, I of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. Uh, oh, That's an original good. Robert Bateman frame. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> did you yeah. used to build frames before? Like, were, would you do your own frames before? I did all. I did pretty well all, all my own frames, and they're pretty unique, and I think they suit very well. Yeah. So I would have bought the, the stock with that little gold rim on it. Yeah. Um, a, a black, quite thin lumber. It looks like about a quarter inch yeah. with a gold on it. I didn't, I didn't do that, but uh, it got put together. And then would the you other, have did, the other. you built the other one around there? Yeah. Would you have distressed that because it looks distressed? I probably. I don't, and that's I, like creosote or something on there. Um, <laughs> I might have. Yeah. <laughs> Until I learned uh, how carcinogenic creosote is. <laughs> I yeah. used creosote for a lot of things. It wasn't carcinogenic back in the day. <laughs> well, <laughs> it, it was, but nobody knew. Um, no, that's great. I think that's a really cool aspect to this painting. I th yeah. yeah. I wouldn't change the, the framing. I, yeah. I think the framing is just fine. Yeah. And yeah. The, the frame around the fallen willow looks commercial. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I like it, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for talking about it.